Hey what's up guys, it's Sparksy and welcome back to another video, which this one actually happens to be a Sly Cooper video. What are the odds? Me posting Sly Cooper videos consecutively? Who is she? I want to apologise as well that I've not posted in over three weeks. I've genuinely just been feeling quite unmotivated to make videos and I did record a few videos but then when I'd go to edit them my editing skills aren't that great. I'm still learning my way around Adobe Premiere. I'll record a video and I'll have to edit it a certain way and then I realised that I've not actually quite developed that editing skill yet so I'm biting off a little bit more than I can choose so I'm just going to stick to videos that are a little bit more simple just so I can upload more but in the meantime I'm going to be working on the more heavier editing projects behind the scenes so once they're out they're out and that's also not the only reason why again been unmotivated but also my personal life has been pretty busy last month I went back to work and work has been a little bit more overbearing than usual and I've been doing a little bit more overtime due to the whole coronavirus situation when I'm at work obviously can't make videos but then when I come home from work I'm just way too tired to do anything that I'm interested in including making videos so I really do apologize about that so today I'm going to be talking about the possibility of a Sly 5 on the PlayStation 5 it is official actually been an entire console generation without a Sly Cooper game. We had Sly 1, which was the first Sly Cooper game, and that was on the PS2, and then obviously we had Sly 1, 2, and 3. And then we were left without a Sly Cooper game for about seven years, and then Sly 4 come out, which was on the PS3, which left a lot of us hoping that on the PS4 we'd have a Sly 5, which there's been so much speculation about it. Obviously a lot's happened with Sly Cooper over the last three years, but over time there's been some little references to Sly Cooper, first one being which is quite circulating in the community at the moment. Sucker Punch released their new game Ghost of Tsushima last week and there's actually a trophy in this game. So the trophy is actually called Cooper Clan Cosplayer and it is to complete the Sly Cooper cosplay outfit. So it's like an armor set and it's all related to Sly Cooper and then once you wear and acquire all of the armor sets and have your character equip it, you unlock this trophy, which is pretty cool. For those of you who do not know, Ghost of Tsushima was actually published and made by Sucker Punch, who were responsible behind the first three Sly Cooper games, which is pretty cool. A lot of Sly Cooper fans have been playing this and I felt it was like my duty to buy it, so that's what I've done, but unfortunately I've just not had the time to play it yet, so... I can't wait till I get to play it though. But the armor's really cool, your character wears like this Sly Cooper headband with his cane on it and the sword or the armor has like his tail which is really 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 cool and nice little nod to the thief that started it all really for them so that's a nice little point out and uh, I was really happy to see that. And also Ghost of Tsushima is doing really really well so shout out to Sucker Punch for developing again another amazing game. But with the PS5 being announced we've obviously not heard anything with Sly Cooper however there is a rumour speculating around Twitter right now. So this is only a rumour but on the state of play which is coming next month apparently they are quote revival of a known series i'm not going to try and overthink this too much because this is the typical sly cooper fan thing sony will be like oh we're reviving a known series and everyone's automatically who's in the sly cooper community are like oh my god it's sly cooper it's sly 5 but i'm gonna be calm about it it's probably not sly 5 but it would be cool i mean i like how they've worded it if it's just revival of a known series rather than say revival of a very no well known series or something that like that it's just revival of a known series sly cooper is known but it's not very well known i think it's still very under the radar we can only just wait and see but imagine if sly 5 was actually announced for the PS5, like how insane would that be? But some of the candidates involve Jack and Daxter, Resistance, The Legend of Dragoon, Heavenly Sword, Killzone, series like that, and Sly Cooper is obviously up for it, as well as PlayStation All-Stars. I wonder if they did another PlayStation All-Stars game, if Sly Cooper would star in that again, that would be pretty cool and would be a playable, playable character because he was in the previous PlayStation All-Stars games, if you did not know that. But when we think about Sly Cooper games, nothing has happened for Sly Cooper video game-wise in about six years. 
The last thing we got was the Sly Trilogy on the Vita, which doesn't really count. But then obviously we have Sly 4, which was seven years ago now, which is crazy to think. It doesn't feel like seven years. I'm assuming that Sly 5 will just be a direct continuation of Sly 4. If you did not know, which if you don't, then go play Sly 4. But spoiler alert, at the end of Sly 4, Sly gets lost in time and ends up in Egypt, which is the teaser trailer at the end, uh, like the teaser at the end, like they do with every single Sly Cooper game. And then for some reason they have this cute little thing where they leave a teaser and then seven years later they just don't develop a game. The likelihood of Sucker Punch coming back and doing Sly Cooper I think is extremely extremely unlikely. They've obviously moved on to bigger and better things. I'm not saying that Sly Cooper sucks by making that very hash statement, but working on more open world games such as Ghost of Tsushima, see their other kind of games like Infamous and all of that. So it's apparent that they have moved on from Sly Cooper, although saying that, there's rumours, and I don't know if it's true, that Sucker Punch were actually involved with the Sly Cooper movie. I'm not too sure about the TV show. All of that information is irrelevant because both things have been shelved as we we could probably tell because we've not heard anything so I'm just going to automatically assume that they've both been shelved. But when it comes to a Sly 5, definitely a direct continuation from Sly 4 because even though the community doesn't really view Sly 4 as canon, which personally I don't think is true, I think that Sly 4 is canon, people just choose for it not to be canon because one, it's not made by Sucker Punch and two, it doesn't really live up to their standards so therefore they automatically deem the game as non-canon which kind of annoys me. I feel like again that probably just made a lot of people salty but personally I don't think Sly 4 was a great game and it definitely could have done better but I also think it definitely could have been worse. Back to Sly 5 though, when it comes to story I think it will just be the obvious that Sly is lost in time and his main goal is just to try and get back into present day and I think we'll meet more ancestors along the way which would be would be pretty cool because we were missing out a few ancestors in Sly 4 like we never got to meet Thaddeus or Henriette. But in terms of developers currently Sly Cooper is just under Sony it's not by under Sanzaru they have no involvement with it anymore but when I'm thinking of the PS5 revivals have been quite popular in the last five years we got the Ratchet and Clank remake which was a revival of the first game we've obviously had Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy remastered and also Crash It's About Time coming out as well in October I think or November or earlier than that or later can't remember and we have Spyro Reignited Trilogy which come out two years ago and there's also talks of a new Spyro game in the makes as well and just a plethora of other games that are due to be remade or reimagined so I can't see why Sly Cooper wouldn't be on there I mean it's obviously in high demand because the community has seriously grown you know thanks to all these other amazing Sly Cooper YouTubers for you know reeling in these new fans or reeling in old fans who were fans of the series but obviously lost interest and got detached due to it just going cold they've come back and now there's just a lot of momentum towards there being a Sly 5 or a new Sly Cooper thing in the works yeah it's a difficult topic to discuss because again it's it's just been left cold there's no developers there there's no TV show which we were promised there's no movie which there was a trailer for no announcement of any Sly 5 but we'll just have to wait and see what this state of play holds for us. Anyway guys, let me know what you think down in the comments of what you think there will be for Sly Cooper in the future, whether on the PlayStation 5. Hopefully, Sly 5, we will see it because we just need it in our lives. Come on, come on, game developers. If you enjoyed this video of me just rambling about Sly Cooper unscripted, leave a like and subscribe. I'm nearly at 500 subscribers, which is absolutely awesome. If we could reach 500 subscribers this summer, that'd be super, super cool. And I've got a celebration video in the works for that as well if we near the milestone even more then i'll start making it also downstairs are my social media so if you do not follow those i recommend you do i try to stay as active as possible on those because i'm quite inactive on my youtube channel but on my social medias i try to stay as active as possible as well as responding to dms and responding to tweets that i've been mentioned in so uh, i really appreciate the people that keep me involved despite me just going and disappearing for a couple weeks and then coming back and then disappearing again so i really do appreciate those people that stick around anyway thanks for watching the video and i'll talk to you guys in my next one goodbye take care and stay sly